Hello and welcome to Low Budget Gaming and welcome to a quick optimization guide, settings guide for Apex Legends for mid-range to older graphics cards, especially AMD cards. So AMD released an update to the drivers a few days after the game came out and I've noticed uh, quite a bit of an improvement with that. So also I've been tweaking the settings to get the best FPS. So I have an old R9 380 graphics card uh, which is a 1050 Ti level card basically. And I've been getting some good uh, frames recently and I've enjoyed playing the game. It's well optimized. And if you tweak things around a bit, you should be able to get over 60 FPS quite easily. So I'll just go over the settings and tell you what I found to work what works best for me. So basically we are going with the 1080 resolution. Now an interesting thing is uh, color blind mode. I would recommend trying these out because I found this one Tritanopia too to suit me for some reason, I, although I don't think I'm colorblind, but it just seems better to me. Maybe it's just a placebo effect. Of course, you need to disable VSync. With anti-aliasing, we only have two options, TSA or none. And the performance difference was very minor, but visually the game does look better with anti-aliasing enabled. Uh, you see that shimmering sort of lines on the face of the characters and the, the distance, so you don't want that. So I would recommend leaving this on because that's a very small performance hit and you won't notice it and the gameplay will be much more enjoyable. With the texture streaming budget, I've gone with what my VRAM is which is 4GB. You can reduce it a bit but unless you go over the recommended which is you'll get a warning, you should be fine. Texture filtering, I've tried all the options and honestly uh, something like 2x or bilinear I did not notice enough of a difference to not use this so I would recommend going with this if you have an older card because um, it looks alright to me I don't see any difference huge difference and it's easier on your resources as well ambient occlusion so these things ambient occlusion sun shadow uh, sun shadow detail sunspot uh, spot shadow detail volumetric all these things, these are the ones that will affect your performance the most. All the shadows and the lighting effects. So I would recommend just disable all of them because, again, quality-wise, I did not see a huge difference. If you have a high-end graphics card, something like, say, a 1070 or more, then you should be fine with everything maxed out. You should probably get 144 FPS. With something less than that, you will have to adjust according to your requirements or your taste basically. Now FPS and shooter games most people like to go for as high a frame rate as possible which is what I'm trying to do as well. Now if you go down below model detail again this is your personal preference it game also helpfully explains to you what will affect the performance so this it says will reduce the GPU load for me medium seems to be fine you can go lower FX detail again I've gone with low impact marks this doesn't affect things much so you can um, increase it if you want it affects the CPU so if you have an older CPU maybe you can reduce this but if you have anything from a Ryzen 5 onwards you should be fine even with like high uh, ragdolls this is how the animations play out when you get killed your dead body animation so again who cares just reduce this it says it will reduce the CPU load Again, up to you if you want to have this. But the main thing that you need to focus on in order to get the improvement is these things here. Ambient occlusion all the way to dynamic spot shadows. Lowering this will give you the best option. Texture filtering, I would say go with bilinear. Uh, ambient occlusion as well. Did I mention that? Yeah, I think I did. Anti-aliasing, again, have it enabled. It makes the game better. Disable V-Sync. And uh, field of view, up to you the higher you go the more it will be demanding but 90 is decent and I would recommend 90 so yeah so these are my recommendations I'm getting a very decent frame rate I'll show a bit of gameplay to show you what I mean uh, I made a video when the game first launched and I noticed quite a bit of a difference with these settings so anyway hopefully this was helpful try it out see what sort of frame rates you get and yeah thank you for watching see you in the next one we're dropping hot.
there supply bin here Looks like it's just us.